Well, I feel like my haircut was probably quite appropriate for this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing this really cool guitar with you. It's a Fender Artist Series Billy Corgan Signature from 2008 and it's been very kindly loaned to me by my friend Gareth. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that demo track. Now before we talk about the features and specs of this guitar, I'm trying to get this channel to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So if you're not already subscribed, please do click that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it, cheers. So I think this is one of the better spec artist models that I've come across for quite a while, especially in the Fender range. This really packs a lot of features into a really cool guitar. So this guitar has actually been out of production for quite some time now with the production ending around 2012. Billy Corgan moved on from Fender and has been a reverend artist for quite a long time now. He's had several different signature models out with reverend. So this came out around the time when USA uh, signature models seemed to be a little bit more prevalent. Fender seemed to have moved into making the signature artist series much more in a kind of uh, Mexican range these days, although obviously there are still some USA built signature models. So it's pretty cool to see that this is actually a USA built guitar. So it's a hard tail older body finished in satin nitro particularly like that spec right so i really love nitro finished guitars they wear so much better than the poly finished guitars you can knock them about a bit and they start to look you know a bit more naturally aged with the poly guitars you you ding it you tend to chip rather than kind of rather than kind of dent and uh, age you know the paint doesn't wear down quite like the nitro guitars do and this one, uh, it, while it's not showing any actual kind of paint wear, the satin finish has really glossed up in like quite a few different places on the guitar through just, you know, play use. Uh, it looks really cool. And I have to say, considering this is a guitar from 2008, uh, the nitro finish has survived remarkably well. There's no checking on it. Uh, there is obviously quite a lot of swirly scratches and what have you, but there's nothing that you would look at it and go, that's terrible sort of thing, you know? Uh, it's really survived well. I think it's been really well looked after. We've got a maple neck and fretboard uh, with a modern C-shape neck profile. It's a standard Strat 25 and a half inch scale length with a 9.5 inch fretboard radius. 22 jumbo frets. We've got a synthetic bow nut, large 70s headstock, and that headstock has the Billy Corgan signature on the back of it. And we've got your kind of regular USA uh, Fender tuners. The pickups are pretty cool as well. We've got two Billy Corgan designed humbuckers in a neck and bridge from Damasio, uh, obviously in a single coil size enclosure. And then in the middle, we've got the Damasio chopper humbucker in that same enclosure. Those pickups bring with them some pretty interesting switching, which is a little bit different from a standard Stratocaster, although on the same sort of vibe. So in position one, we've got the full bridge humbucker. In position two, we've got the inside coil of the bridge humbucker and the full middle humbucker. In position three, we, three, I'm keeping track, we've got 
just the middle humbucker. In position four, we've got the outside coil of the neck humbucker and the middle humbucker. And in position five, we have just the neck humbucker. So yeah, a little bit different from your standard strap, but it's still getting those kind of in-between sounds uh, just with you know, a humbucker as well as single coils. So next up, we'll do some sound clips. We'll do some clean and dirty sounds. Check back in after that for my final thoughts on this guitar. See you in a minute. You still here? Roll a demo, come on. Billy Corgan can be quite a divisive figure 
in the music industry. Uh, he's got a lot of strong opinions, but I think if you can kind of put your thoughts about Billy Corgan, whether they're positive or negative aside, and look at this guitar as, you know, the guitar that it is, uh, I think you'll find this is a pretty awesome signature model. Uh, I'm particularly in love with the nitro finish, uh, the 70s headstock. Uh, it's just a really cool guitar. Uh, pickups are probably a bit hot for my tastes. Uh, I tend to prefer single coils in my strats, but you know, I get it. <laughs> it was a Billy Corgan signature model, and you know, I, and as I understand it, he actually played these live. I actually saw the Smashing Pumpkins back in 2011, and I think Billy was playing some of these guitars then. Although, I mean, to call it the Smashing Pumpkins then is a bit strong. It was Billy Corgan and some hired musicians, I think. But you know, that aside, he was using these guitars live from what I can tell. He's definitely spoken about that in video, in interviews a few times, although, you know, that could just be uh, marketing to get people to buy them. He was definitely changing out necks and weird stuff like that, which, hey, I, I don't really get that. If you've spec'd out a signature guitar, uh, why would you be changing their neck? But you know, Billy Corgan is Billy Corgan. He will do what Billy Corgan does. The guitar itself plays really well. It does have quite a bit of fret wear. Um, Gareth's a bit worried about that. I have said, you know, look, it plays well, it sets up well. Um, you know, there's loads of life left in these frets as well. So if you found that it was problematic down the line, you know, you're not gonna have any problem uh, having it leveled, crowned and polished. It's, there's loads of life left in the frets. Uh, like I say, sets up and plays fine for me, I've not had any issues. I'm not sure Gareth particularly wants me to share how much he actually paid for this, uh, but it wasn't too crazy if you were to compare it to the American Professional 2 range for example, and I think you're getting something a little bit cooler than an American Professional 2 with this guitar, you know. You're getting that nitro finish, you're getting the custom specs. Yeah, I I'd rather have this over an American pro Professional 2, way more character in my opinion. So this particular guitar came with a perloid scratch plate installed. Now Gareth wasn't too keen on that and I can't say I blame him. I think this looks way better with the white guard that we've put on there now. Didn't have the original with it, but we have put a genuine Fender white three ply guard on it and I think it looks way better for it. The other thing about this particular guitar is it doesn't include the original hard shell case, which is a bit of a shame. Thankfully it does have a case, but uh, I think it's a shame it doesn't have the original, but you know, it's all about the guitar really and not the case. So wrapping up then, I think this is a particularly cool guitar and I'm sure that there are people that will disagree with me just based on the fact that it's Billy Corgan's signature. But if you think about the specs you get with this, it really is quite a cool guitar. Now these are quite scarce on the secondhand market. And I think if you see one, at a good price, and I'm talking under a thousand pound, then you should absolutely snap one up. Uh, but expect to pay anywhere between a thousand and two thousand for one of these these days. Uh, I think these are only going to go up in value. So, yeah, if you want one, then you should probably grab one at the earliest opportunity. I have told Gareth to give me first refusal on this if he ever decides to sell it, but he's pretty adamant that it's staying in his collection for the foreseeable. Uh, but Gareth. You know where to come. I mean it. Don't sell it to anyone else. Well guys, that about does it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, checking out the Billy Corgan Signature Strat. Really cool guitar. I don't wanna give it back, but I'm gonna to have to. If you enjoyed the video and you're not already subscribed, do hit that button. Trying to get to that 1,000 before the end of the year really help me out. Cheers. If you want to check out any of my other videos, I'll link a couple over here. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, good job. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. <coughs>